Here is uh, new Governor Glenn Youngkin talking about uh, Southern women um, uh, carrying the day, maybe. Uh, Republican, recently elected to uh, Virginia governor. He was sworn in as governor. And his first, first order of business is to ban critical race theory from Virginia schools. Here he is uh, defending his decision. I, I don't know if it's going to have any real world implications, but it just sort of depends on what exactly is in the ban. But he's explaining that there is no racism. School system. We're not going to teach our children to view everything through a lens of race. Yes, we will teach all history, the good and the bad, because we can't know where we're going unless we know where we have come from. But to actually teach our children that one group is advantaged and another is disadvantaged simply because of the color of their skin cuts across everything we know to be true. And the immortal words of Dr. Martin Luther King ring in our ears that we must judge one another by the content of our character and not the color of our skin. But this is what will be the founding principle of our executive order, what we're going to do in Virginia schools. Now, 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 what's amazing about this is that is not the quote. Not that we must, that he hopes that one day we can, which implies that at that time that we're not. And in fact, one group is advantaged over another group. And that is exactly what Yunkin denies is the case. There is no structural racism in the country, as he says. There is no, there is no one, is, everyone is on equal play, uh, playing field right now. And Very that, curious, like what's the bad? He says there's bad history. I love, what is the bad history? Please explain it to us. Oh, you know, that's critical that race theory. Got no, it. it's when the feds told the uh, state states what they had to do. That's the bad stuff. The over the overreach. That is the one MLK quote that they can't even get right that conservatives use. And I mean, I yesterday was an onslaught of oh that. Stuff. It's this disgusting. It's enough. Enough. And if I see one more brand tweet about MLK, I'm going to lose my shit, too. Enough. I mean, the, the idea that these people have the gall to put this man's name in their mouth is like unbelievable to me. And they leave out all of the other parts we talk about, you know, the 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 war, uh, war on poverty, the uh, fact that he endorsed democratic socialism, the fact that he was an anti-war advocate. And none of that penetrates. But like the, these people and we've allowed it as a society because he's been deified to this degree um, or become like a national saint where it's it, it's completely strips all of the bravery and the meaning of his leadership from it and it's gross um there should be the more nuance too discussed yeah. with the, like the, this project which basically to like turn the content of your character i have a dream speech into like mlk rebuking the civil rights movement for being right. too caught up with race it's like that's a white supremacist revision that's what it is that's right. They're going to make a monument of you yeah, now for being the new yeah, that MLK. Is it. Exactly. Like, they are trying to argue that MLK was basically saying, like, stop seeing race everywhere. You see it everywhere. He would have loved... outside, you see some racism happening. <laughs> That's no way to go through life. <laughs> Obama, guys. Why are you so caught up in it? Let me be clear. <laughs> 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 I don't know if this anymore.